I'm not even going to dwell on what happened in the last episode. You'll just have to watch it for yourself because I am still baffled by what I just saw. Like, what? What? Anyway, we seem to have gotten onto this elevator up to this top to follow an exotic woman. We seem to be in her, in her room because I see her wardrobe and her mannequin. And a busted mirror. Apparently she looked at it and the mirror decided she was very ugly. At least that's what I want to think. She doesn't look that ugly though. Assuming we've seen all of her in the memories and the small glimpses that we've seen before. She's not exactly an ugly woman, just a weird one. But definitely a lot more elegant looking than than um than any of the other people that we've seen in this game all those pigs the chefs that long-armed man and now i see a door with a lock so at the very least i know what i got to do now let's just start exploring and see what we can find oh I know exactly where we are. I saw this in that monitor room. Complete with the same music. It's not a violin. It's somebody humming. It's her. She's the one that's humming. But we got to make sure we don't get her attention at all. Where is she, though? Oh, there she is. If I remember correctly, wooden floors are not exactly my best friend. So before I continue on, let me explore and see if there's any alternate solution to handling this part out before I just start running in there like crazy. far as things go, there doesn't seem to be much options for me. There hasn't been that much puzzle solving so far here. In the last chapter that I played, it was just a matter of surviving. hide under the bed for a second because it seems like whenever I, hi I enter a new room it triggers the animations or alternate animations for these characters suddenly they start to coincidentally walk around the same area that I'm in I mean that's what I like to think well I know that's happened before and she seems to be the big bad here at least that's how she's presented. Where could that key be? Okay, so I have a feeling. Yeah, okay. I got this sneaking suspicion that that pot is necessary because it seems to be standing out just a little more than the rest of the objects here 
Well, here goes nothing. Come into this room. You know you want to. Come in here. Investigate. I'm ordering you. I love how the music has changed to match the same humming music that this woman was singing. Where'd she go? Holy shit. She's on to me. There's no reason why she would walk away from the noise that happened in the room. Would you sincerely do that? If you were near your room and you heard some noises, would you walk away from it? Of course not. This lady is on to me. And with all these mannequins that I've been seeing, I'm going to assume that she's disguising herself among one of those isn't she right she's gonna pop out of that drawer isn't she I know something's gonna happen I am feeling it look at how prominent that drawer is I mean that dresser no well I'm on my toes. Like, I know that there's more to this. You can come out of hiding now, lady. Your trickery will not work on me. Get over here. Seriously. Okay, I'm I I know I'm suspecting a lot out of this, but I'm I'm Oh my god. You ever get the feeling that something real bad is gonna happen? Cause I know! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Well, you have my attention now, game. You're doing a fairly good job of scaring me. Oh, shit. Okay. <sighs> I knew it. I definitely knew it. She was hiding among herself there. Let me just bowl for it. Screw this. Bolt for it, bolt for it, bolt for it, bolt for it. Sorry, lady. Your magic will not work on me. I know you're hiding among all this. Come at me. I dare you. I triple double dog dare you. Come here. Yeah, she's disguising herself among all this. And there's that... There's that thing I saw in the monitor earlier. What is it for, though? It's a mirror. It's to help me reflect something, isn't it? And now it's... Really quiet. I'm expecting a jump scare, yes. Yeah. I... I... I, I saw you earlier. 
Where'd you go? Oh! Ah, uh, okay, okay. What is this game that you're trying to play with me? Okay, I'm starting to realize there's a theme going on here. Broken mirrors. Every mirror is broken except for this one. What is going on here? Now she's gone. Okay. What is that mirror for though? What do I need it for? The game made it prominent earlier that that is there for a particular reason. It's probably to reflect something. Is it to reflect her own face? Do I gotta be facing her at all times? Is that the reason why? Aha! I knew it! Get away from me! Yes, this is working. This is definitely working. Where are you? Show yourself. Yes. I'm not sure if this is working or if it's progressing, but this is all I could do for now. The mirror, it's shattered. There you are. Oh. Oh. I got the case of the hunger and I know the right piece of meat for me to consume. Come here. So now, because I ate her, does that mean that I gain her powers?
What do we got here? I think by consuming this woman, I seem to have gained some sort of supernatural power. Yeah, yeah. Stay away from me. Don't you dare look at me. Give in to me. This, this is the stairway to heaven. Let me have my freedom. Peace out, my friends. I am off to a better world. Oh, my scurrying little friend. How are you? You should probably stay away from me if you want to live. Sorry, buddy. Well. That was, um, one hell of an ending. Sweet Jesus, man. What did I play? Wow. Well... Here are my final thoughts. I thought the game was actually really good. It severely lacks in the puzzle department, though. There wasn't quite as much puzzle solving involved, it was more a matter of exploring, getting from one area to another. It didn't quite feel challenging in that regards. It was more challenging just to survive, getting away from the enemy encounters. That was the obstacle. Everything else seemed kinda on the easy side. However, I don't think that really dampers the quality of the game overall. I think this game is actually really, really good. And I'm very, ga I'm very glad to have played it. But is there more to this? Is there anything else after the credits that might shine a little light on this entire game? Or is it just one of those where, where it's just going to be left unanswered to give something for the players to interpret? In any case though, this is definitely a very fantastic game. Very very good game. Not quite as challenging when it comes to puzzle solving the way Limbo and Inside has it set up. And I know for a fact that it's unfair to, for me to be comparing this game to those two, but it's the only way I can really compare the two, or the three. You know, it's a puzzle platformer. But if anything, there's not that much puzzles to be had in this game. I think that's ultimately the big problem with this game. Not a lot of puzzles. Plenty of platforming, beautiful environment, 
I think this might be one of the most gorgeous games that I've played so far this year. I love the setting. I love the character design. I felt kind of connected with the little girl that I was playing as. It's too bad we don't get to see more about her, see any of her history. And what's up with those little creatures that we're running about, you know? The little, the little scurrying friends of mine. What purpose did they serve here other than to, you know, lead the way? Lead the way and one of them getting unfortunately eaten. And for that matter, why did this girl suddenly crave for living creatures? And what about the children? What about them? Surely I could have rescued them at some point, right? No. Instead, this girl ends up eating a witch and gaining her superpowers. And I don't even know if she goes on to be a hero. With that newfound superpower that she has, she could definitely rescue the children, maybe steal the boat and, and take them to Jamaica or something. I don't know. I am just at a loss for words. This was definitely the strangest game that I've played so far. And that's saying something, because I've played quite a few games in my time. Oh boy. This was something alright. This was definitely something. There are certain things that I'm going to have to go back and cover, like those statues and those candlelights around the word room 22 fire without smoke. Was that a clue to something or was that just the name of the studio. I don't even know. I'm, I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. Something else I want to point out, the music is really good too. In fact, when I pre-ordered this game, it came with the soundtrack, which I haven't actually saved onto, well, it's saved on my computer, but it's in the folder where this game resides. I should, you know, take that, take that out, and put it on my MP3 player, and give it a listen. Really good stuff, it's very dynamic. This is some creepy whistling that I'm listening to right now. Huh. Sounds like somebody blowing into a jug.
So was this a Japanese game? Or was? Huh. Little Nightmares Certainly gave me a little nightmare. I can tell you that right now. Oh, there's more. Thank you for playing. I seem to be stuck on an island now. Help me. Anybody? Hello? Oh, well. I have the witch's power, but nobody is around to listen to me talk about it. Lame. <laughs> Anyway, this is definitely a really good game. Is it worth the full purchase of its price? I think the game costed me $20. Is it worth $20? Um, it really depends. The way I see it, these are the kinds of games that I enjoy buying so that I could play on my own, but then I also have my friends play it. I'll boot up the game and I'll have my friends try it out, and I get to watch them experience the game for the first time. Now, if, if you enjoy doing that, you know, playing the game and experiencing it for yourself and then you enjoy passing it to your friends so they could try it out for themselves, then yeah, I think this is the kind of game that you should pur purchase and enjoy. But if you are just going to buy it for yourself and just bolt from beginning to end to enjoy the story and nothing else, it might not be worth a purchase. But overall, though, if you do jump into this game, I will say you're going to be in for quite a wild ride. I say that a lot, don't I? But hopefully you have saw this Let's Play after you played this game. Because, yeah, this game, this entire playthrough was completely spoiler rich. But anyway, if you made it this far on my Let's Play series, then I'm just here to say thank you very much for watching me play this game. Let's see. Seems like she was stranded after all. Alrighty, well. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a good one. Hopefully I'll find another more fulfilling game for me to play. I'm not saying this game wasn't fulfilling. I thought it was actually absolutely enjoyable. But it needed a little bit more meat, I guess. But overall, this game was tons of fun. Thanks for watching. You guys take care. See you later.